Okay. Okay, now this leads me to my third question to you. So BTS, by their own admittance, yes. um, they do benefit from the black culture. They said and that. They love it. They yes. said it. Yes, and they, they love it. They love it. They said they love it. Y- they are you quoting them yes. or are you... Yes, I, they are. They actually, if you ask them to name their... Uh, favorite we bands. call it We call it favorites and we call it influences or inspirations. They call it, on that side of the world, they call it role model. Okay. So if they... If that they makes ask sense. Them, yeah. They would most... I think the only non-black person they would name is Eminem. The okay. rest are black. All right. So they, they are aware of it and they, they okay. say they love it. All right. Um, now, but that being said, and I've watched a lot of other guys of your color, black, <laughs> okay. Thank comment, you. giving their... Thank you for <laughs> reminding me. I was beginning to fade there and not sure. But yeah, okay. Yeah, sometimes I have to remind him. He thinks he's Asian. <laughs> so... Um, so I, they, they have given their, their two cents on the matter. Some of them would say that they are very flattered. They are happy on how much the culture has actually influenced so many right. people in different parts of the world. Did they mention any other specifics? Did they say like Smokey Robinson or Bobby uh, Brown? No, the, I think the, the, who's the, these are young people. I do remember Drake being one of the more dominant influences that okay. they have. Okay. Um, but nothing like Motown back time. back from the origin of like the Motown no, stuff. No, no, or, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no. All right. Michael Jackson. Okay. I think is the eldest that they've ever gone. Okay. Okay. So um, some so going back to some of the people that are reacting to this this movement on that yeah. creative movement in that part of the world. Some of them are very flattered. Some of them would name specific people who are who are doing raps and stuff and say that you know we're kind of flattered you're doing it but you're doing it wrong <laughs> okay <That's> but nice. <laughs> but um for you though for you though knowing y- you know how much i love bts and yeah. i talk to you a lot about how asians are are using that side of your culture yeah how do you feel about it when you're seeing all of these people earning millions and millions of dollars Off of, off of your the, culture, right. that part of your culture. Um, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, we can talk about, um, like my immediate feeling is, um, wow. Um, there is a reptilian brain kind of response, meaning kind of like a primitive way, and then there is evolved thought. And so I kind of will kind of walk you through it. Whenever um, you see anyone of any culture taking advantage of, I'm using that word specifically, of, of your culture for profit or for exploitation, so to speak. These are words that are coming from the reptilian brain. You feel robbed. You feel like um, you've been bamboozled or, um, you know, whatever the case is. But that's the small mind. Um, That's the reptilian mind, you know, and and usually that reptilian mind is really connected to some very um, Neanderthal kind of thought process. (laughs) Right. So it's easy. So when people say, oh, man, they're just doing nothing but rap, you know, ripping off black people and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I can hear it. I understand where that comes from. But that's not a very evolved thought. That's not a very evolved thought process. So um, so first of all, in the more advanced brain thinking. What did they say? Flattery is, is the, the biggest form of. Imitation. Imitation. Imitation is the biggest form of flattery. So the, that alone, just the fact that they're replicating a lot of the rhythm and blues, rap, hip hop, um, dance moves um, in their stuff, they're basically giving an homage to our culture, which I think is beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. As an artist, no one's reinventing the wheel right? Everything came from somewhere. So, um, you know, like even in films, right? You would watch all the, oh my God, the Matrix is this, and have you seen uh, a game? All all of it still is robbed from something else. You know what I mean? We're watching the same seven movies over and over and over. It may seem like a new thing, but it's really something that came before it. 
So when people put the time to kind of look at the origins of things, that's when I start to have respect. And this is why I respect BTS is because they're not trying to just jump up there and say, we created this. They're not trying to say that, look, this is the, our new moves and we're the owners of this. They are actually paying an homage and respect to the origins of what their, their success and their brilliance is the foundation of that came from our culture and they're respecting and honoring that. And for that, I give them nothing but kudos. I think that's a beautiful thing to do. And if more people in the world would be able to see, no matter what it is, it doesn't have to come from black culture, but just to be able to do enough research to figure out where is the origin of this and have respect that it came there because it's benefiting your life. It's benefiting your life. And that's, that, that's only kind to do. There's a, a recurring issue in Asia about the N-word. I know this is a sensitive word for black people. Just to give you a perspective on that part, side of the world, even in the Philippines, the N-word for us is actually a color. Like negro. Yes. Yeah. And so we would say that word often. That same word or negro? That same word. Um, referring both to a person okay. who is black and to the color. Uh -huh. And because we are so removed from, from this history, right. we never really, unless you're very much acquainted to somebody who's also black and who would be willing to share that side of your history, exactly. then we wouldn't really know that's the significance of the word. Right. And, and I'm pretty sure... A, some point in my past, I've said that word to refer to a person of your color mm -hmm. because I didn't know better. Yeah, I actually Thought did it was not just, become right. Yeah, you, it's just yeah. a word. Right. Yeah. So I didn't actually become aware of it fully until I started coming here for visits. Then people would actually tell me, "Don't say that word ever again." Yeah. And so, and it didn't register right away. You yeah. know, in the beginning, it said, "You know, it, it, it's a, just just a word. Yeah. You know, it's a color, whatever." You know? Yeah. But um, and so. Still, even though we're in this woke culture yeah. and everyone has access to Twitter and all this information online, there still are many people out there who are not aware of that. Many word. people or many specifically many Korean folks? Korea, no, just many people in general, okay. in Asia. In Asia. Um, and because there are so many languages in yeah. Asia and many of these countries don't actually speak English, it's yeah. even harder for them to understand the significance of the word. Right. So this is my next question to you. Um, if you hear an Asian performer say that word, whether in a song or when they're talking, how does it make you feel? Um, again, I don't, I don't, um, I can't speak for all black people. I'm going to talk about my own personal experience, which might cover 90% of black people, um, but not all, not all. There's a variety of individuals out there that have a, a different take. Wherever the word comes from, I don't care if it's a robot, right? If I ask Siri, what is what? And then she ended up saying the N word, me and Siri got a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's just the bottom line. So um, I think when you talk about the woke culture and et cetera, et cetera, I think that it is your responsibility that if you're going to use language to understand the etymology of where, of what it, or what it, where it's coming from, how did it derive, et cetera, et cetera, especially when you're dealing with a very sensitive issue. You may not say that it's sensitive, but um, it, this reminds me of this situation. Um, when I first got to LA, I had some. I was at um, doing my time at USC, and I had other friends that were in other different acting academies. And in this particular acting academy, there was a group of friends I had. They were all girls, and one of the girls was from. I think she was either from Germany or Russia, and so th she was going to school there. And she hung out with the girls. She wasn't really part of the inner circle, but she kind of wanted to belong, and et cetera, et cetera. And since they're all girls, they had no problem saying the C word. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, maybe that word can be spelled out. I don't know if I can say it. I, I know we, I've got, you know, I'm just trying to be respectful. So when they, by the time they graduate, the girl from Russia, let's just say Russia, she um, bought a new Mustang, okay. convertible Mustang mm -hmm. she had. And she had personalized license plates. Okay. And she loved that name. And so she got that name put on her license plates. And she drove up and she was like, hey, guys, I got a new car. And she had that. And all of the girls from the academy were like, 
they were just shocked over it. Because <laughs> okay. she didn't understand. I'm laughing because I'm so shocked as well. <laughs> yeah, right? So so she meant no harm. Her intention was, I heard you guys say, you know, in, in dress rehearsals or whatever the case is, you, you guys call each other it every now and then. I thought it was such a cool word. I put it on my car. <laughs> It's our responsibility, you know what I mean, to, to kind of do it. I mean, but it sounds like in your case, it's just a word that describes a color. And if that person is that color, you know what I mean? Like if the, there's an right, association. Yeah, so there's an association. But I'm going to take a leap here. If I come from a village and we, um, this color is called cracker. And if I go off into Beverly Hills and if I end up saying, um, excuse me, cracker, right? Can you help me on this situation again? Right? It's, it's, it's only, it's your only, it's your only <laughs> you'll probably get punched. <laughs> right? Um, so, so, you know, it's, uh, um, now, you know, so tell everybody else. And then the end, the conversation is done. The conversation is done. Um, but if, if somebody says it and they don't know, I mean, it's, you, you should know, um, but spread the word. Let everyone know, um, and then hopefully in six months, it, everyone in the world will know. Um, but if not, <laughs> if not, if somebody comes to me and says they didn't know what that word meant, um, I have a forgiving heart. I'm not offended by it. But instantly, anybody... The instinctive reaction. It's, we have a problem. Okay. We have a problem. It's deeply offensive. Even my, my old kids have never said that word around me. I don't like the word. The, the, the word is deeply offensive. I don't like it when other black people say it to each other. And they do that a lot. And they do it a lot. Yeah. And they try to make the distinction between having it end in the R versus the A. You know that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a big distinction. And it's supposed to, the, the concept with black folks saying it to each other is if we can say it to each other, we can minimize its pain. And so I get that. That makes a lot of sense. But it's still present. That word, that word carries so much pain that there's really no escape, escaping around it. I can't think of any one word in the entire dictionary of all words ever uttered on mankind since Adam and Eve, if you believe in that, put their feet in the Garden of Eden, or if you're a Darwinist, the first fish that was able to speak <laughs> underwater. I can't think of any other word that carries as much pain as that particular word they they i have uh another black friend who actually calls wait oh stop N -word. stop come on now <laughs> come on now you you got two of us got, yeah oh my goodness oh my goodness he he actually calls me the n-word he does that, yeah he's like my n-word like you're my n-word See, that's what I'm saying. I don't speak for all, I can't speak for all black folks. His associate, I, is he younger? He's very much younger. Yeah. And I asked him about it. I said, how do you feel when other people, because there are other people in that environment that would actually be called in that word and they're not black. Mm -hmm. And I said, how do you feel about it when they, when they call you that N word? And they said, oh, for me, it's okay. As long as it depends, on, this is his words. It, it depends on the context. So if that word was used, um, to refer to somebody who's your friend and not, you know, offensive. It's not meant to demean them or put them down. Then it's for them, it's okay. And then there are. Um, he said it's very much like the B word for women. Like you can call okay, it yeah. right. Like hey, B word. If you're two, if the two of you are friends, that's fine. Right. You call somebody a B word and, and out can, of out of anger or disrespect yeah, that, and that means something else I, I get that okay so um that being said though i do understand where you stand but um there are a lot of celebrities in that part of the world not just in korea but in other parts of asia that get into trouble because sometimes they would say that word not really knowing what it means and comes in the bullying the harassment all the hate that goes their way and even though, despite, sometimes the celebrities would actually ask for forgiveness. They would apologize for it because they didn't know. And many of uh, the netizens, is what they call them, would still wouldn't forgive them. For them, saying that word should equate to, to their career ending. 
Like, say that word and you're finished. Say that word and you're canceled. Even though you don't know, because it's your it's a responsibility to know whatever. Uh, do you think that they should be canceled? Hashtag canceled? I think the pendulum doth swing too far. You know what I mean? If if a person is genuine, uh, if I'm if I'm an Asian celebrity, and all I know is that that particular word is to identify um, a particular color, and if I say that um, as a celebrity, um, and then I get a backlash, and everyone says you should never ever say that word, very irresponsible of you. If I give an apology um, of that, then. Um, then I think that that person's career should not be um, butchered because of it. Yeah. That they shouldn't do it again. Never. Ever again. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you learned something today. <laughs> That's quite a discussion. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions for him, it doesn't have even have to be about black culture. Stevie's actually an actor. Sometimes a stripper. <laughs> and he he's also an integrative she's kidding <laughs> about the stripper i am not i'm not a stripper for free for free <laughs> everyone has their price everyone has their price dm me we'll slide take, into his dm yeah, we'll slide into my dm i take big bitcoin <laughs> it's going up Stocks are going down and Bitcoin is going up. <laughs> yes. So uh, he's actually also, aside from being an actor uh, and being a, a, a acting coach, is that yes. what you call it? Yes. He's also an integrative... Integrative body psychotherapist. I am, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's a mouthful, but uh, yeah, it's called IBP is the practice, and um, I've been trained as a therapist, although um, I am a practitioner, I'm not licensed by the state um, to, to be, I'm not a licensed therapist, I am a, um, a licensed practitioner of IBP, which is uh, a tangent, if you will, of, uh, of okay. traditional therapy. So if you have any questions for him, as he said, he can't actually take in patients, but he can answer some questions. Most so if definitely. you have any questions for him, go ahead and leave a comment and I will get to him. And in the next episode that I get him on the show, aside from having him do a BTS routine, I will try to have him answer your questions. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.